Hi, Kariti. Thanks so much for having us here today at your headquarters. It's great to be here. Thank you, Steve. We're hearing so much about NFV right now. Can you describe for me Juniper's overall approach to NFV? Yeah, we have a two-pronged approach to NFV. The first is to build best-in-class virtual network functions, VNF, starting with uh, VMX, VSRX, and virtual rod reflector, among others. The second approach is to build an NFV-based solution, so not just the individual VNFs, but an overall solution. This one is the virtual CPE, or VCP solution. Our VCP solution spans the entire Etsy NFV uh, architectural framework, from NFVI to MANO to, of course, the VNFs. This is an open standards-based approach. Uh, it's evolutionary, so you can go from physical to virtual network functions. And it's uh, a turnkey solution. We're blending multiple components together to give a comprehensive end-to-end -end solution. So full service, complete end-to-end -end solution, all from Juniper. Yes. Kariti, I think this is absolutely fascinating. Um, as you know, we've been writing about virtual CPE a lot on light reading and, and covering it at heavy reading. And it does seem to be the area where there is the clearest business case right now for service providers. What are the drivers for them around virtual CPE? Let's start with the end customer. They have a complex situation. They're global, multiple geographies. Um, they have complex workflows. They have sophisticated applications. And they don't want a fixed service. Mm -hmm. They want to be able to customize it. They want uh, a responsiveness from the service provider. This idea that they call them up and they get service in three months is so last century. Yeah. So they want real-time uh, you know, upgrading of services, new service chaining, and so on. And this puts the burden back on the service providers to show them greater responsiveness. Yeah. So the service provider is saying, how do I move from truck rolls to service chaining? How do I move from manual operations to automation? Uh, so there are a number of things that the service providers want to do, mm -hmm. and those are the drivers. Mm -hmm. And so the service providers would then say, our business impact is faster time to revenue, mm -hmm. The customer says, I get instant gratification. Mm. The service provider says, I get operational efficiency. The customer says, um, I get better customer set. Mm. What about the equipment that uh, you would deploy as part of this solution? Are there benefits to that part of it? There are benefits to that. Uh, in the old days, you'd have the stack of equipment, each one doing its own dedicated function. Mm. Uh, the new way is either you have a very simple L2 NID and you backhaul everything and have services in the cloud. The VNFs are in the cloud. Or you can start the VNFs on-prem, especially if you want security to start on-prem. And then you can have other VNFs in the cloud. And this ability to go back and forth and hybrid models and so on mm. is part of the flexibility that's appealing to the service provider. What's the primary market for virtual CPE right now? Is it your existing customers or is it new customers? So it is our existing customers, and it's our existing customers saying, I can deliver my services much better. It is our existing customers saying, we can go to new markets, uh, new geographies, uh, places where we would have found it hard to go to before. Mm -hmm. uh, primarily looking at the SMB market, but looking across the whole enterprise market. And it is new customers mm -hmm. saying, um, we can offer services where uh, it would have been difficult to do if I had to put a physical network func yeah. function before. Yeah. And next generation service is not just any service. I mean, this is really the future of 21st century communication we're looking at Absolutely. right now, today. Yes. It's, very, it's very cool. Yeah. What are the actual components of the virtual CPE solution? So of course, you start with the VNFs. Mm. Uh, so you have routing functions through VMX. You have uh, security functions through um, virtual SRX. Um, then you have um, NFVI, the net, uh, NFV infrastructure, mm -hmm. and then you have MANO, and MANO um, comprises of Contrail networking and Contrail orchestration, working in conjunction with uh, OpenStack. And then, of course, you have network management. Uh, you have EMSs managing physical or virtual devices. Uh, you've got uh, collectors for all the telemetry you're going to get and use to give better services to your customers. Mm -hmm. Um, so you have all these uh, components. Uh, this is part of our NFV solution. You have other components like billing and inventory systems, uh, which are not part of uh, our NFV solution. You have portals, which you want to con connect with our NFV solution via the programmatic interfaces. 
you have uh, WAN SDN solutions. So all of these play together. Having said that, this is an open standards-based infrastructure, and this is what um, taking a a physical device, which is monolithic, and breaking it up into virtual network functions is the first step of saying, I want the choice, best of breed. Mm. And so I think we, we absolutely have to do this, and we will do this, mm. but we want to walk before we run. So, Kariti, thanks for taking me through this. I mean, it really is innovative and exciting, and I mean, I think the main word I'd use for it is pragmatic. Uh, there's, there's such a clear business case for this, even just when you focus on the truck roll piece. By the way, you've got a very cool t-shirt there. I mean, automate, scale, and create. I mean, that's pretty much the mission for the entire industry right now, isn't it? Isn't it funny how a lot of people think that NOV is a threat to Juniper? And what we're seeing is, hey, this is a great opportunity. Great opportunity. And what I'm going to do is give you one wow. of these shirts. So I can automate, scale, and create myself. I mean, this is absolutely fantastic. And you know that uh, Light Reading is one of the original OTT applications, right? So right. This is perfect for us. Thanks, Kariti. Really appreciate it. Thank you.